Hello and welcome to The Cook's Pantry. We are again in my beautiful hometown of Noosa and we've set up on Noosa River here. It is absolutely stunning. It's coming towards the later part of the afternoon. Look at that. That is like, that's classic Noosa behavior right there, putting along in their boat. Anyway, I'm not jealous because I'm gonna be cooking up a beautiful little stir fry. I know we all love a stir fry. I think it's everyone's go-to in the house when you're running out of time. You want a really quick, delicious dinner. This one, I'm gonna be working with some beautiful South Australian squid. This combination kinda of came about uh, at work. We were cooking up a little snack in between lunch and dinner and we just had the squid delivered. This is what we came up with. A Little bit of ginger, some spring onions. It's beautiful, balancing out the flavors. First kickoff is the squid itself. And I think squid is, it's, it's underused. Um, and I think it's relatively inexpensive. It is a beautiful ingredient to be working with. And, and it's all about the preparation. So you can buy um, whole squid, you can buy them cleaned. And with these, the simplest way to do it, and I think it, a lot of the time people, they don't use it because they've had bad experiences with it. This is how easy it is, okay? So you really want a beautiful sharp knife to get this done. And we're just gonna go straight into that pocket and slice it open. And then all we wanna do, it's just, it's a pineapple cut. So just a really simple crisscross pattern, okay? So don't rush it. So all we wanna do is use the weight of the knife and we're just gonna run it along bit by bit by bit. And you just want those little incisions and it just gives you the most beautiful texture. Look at that. All right, pick it up, flip it, change the angle, and then go across. It just makes me smile looking at it. I know the outcome I'm gonna get once it hits that pan. It's gonna curl up, it's gonna spray out that kind of pineapple cut that we've put in it, and it just has the best mouthfeel ever. All right, so just repeat that. And it is, it's one of those things, take your time with it. Take your time, don't rush it, don't get frustrated with it, take your time and you will most certainly get the results. So knife up through there, any of that sort of stuff, just scrape it away, clean it up, and again, use the weight of the knife. So just run it, as soon as it hits and touches, just push it forward. Now all we've got to do, just cut it into our bite-sized pieces and transfer them back onto the plate. And I think, I reckon this stir fry is probably one of the most common things in the households in this country. You know, you will find that in order to nail one, you've got to go a little bit heavier on the prep. So your prep will take a little bit longer, but cooking the dish itself should be lightning fast. So that's exactly the position we want to be in with the squid. Now, very, very simple ingredients, spring onions and ginger. So just gonna, Give these a nice fine slice. You'll notice the whole time I've been cooking, I've had this thing roaring because I need it to be incredibly hot in order to cook that squid perfectly. Good hit of ginger, just tidy it up. And we just want some nice ginger battens or a little julienne. Uh, it's just, there's sometimes you want really fine ginger. You want it to, I guess, disappear into your sauce and you, you, I guess you just want that hum of it. In this one, I want it for a little bit of texture as well. So I want to be biting in to a nice matchstick of ginger to give me that burst of warmth. So flat surface and just cut yourself little slices like that. And then what we do, we'll stack them all up and then cut them the other way. Now, I don't know, but there might be people at home freaking out going, he's cut raw squid on the board and now he's cutting ginger and spring onions. I don't personally have an issue with that, especially as um, in the great outdoors. If I was at home, I'd be doing the exact same thing. If it was chicken, different story, pork, yeah. But squid, I mean, you, you get squid raw on your nigiri, so I don't see why there'd be an issue with it being on your shopping board. All set, ready to rock and roll, so away we go. Good hit of oil in your pan. So ginger and spring onion been cooking off now, sizzling away for about a minute. I reckon we can go in with our squid. So we're just gonna drop this around. That's gonna take a matter of minutes. A Little bit of soy, good hit of sriracha, and then a little sprinkle of brown sugar, just to sweeten it up. And we are almost there.
That's taken a matter of minutes. We are ready to rock and roll here. Look at the look at the shape and the cut of that squid. It is absolutely gorgeous. If that doesn't entice you to want to go to your seafood monger and get on this and give this recipe a shot, I don't know what will. Look at it, look at that. Throw whatever veg you would want in there. Just pair that, keep it simple. A little bit of steamed rice on the side. Oh my God, I'm gonna have some. A little bit spicy, a little bit sweet. But all in all, the greatest thing about that dish is the texture of that squid. Like I said, give it a shot. You've never cooked with it before. Take that technique, good old pineapple cut. I know you're not gonna forget that term. Take your time with it, enjoy it, and produce that.